Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. You're looking at your girl Lin Wei, and there's absolutely no way without going through the way. And your girl is back. I'm finally back. It's been a long time coming. Oh my god, I've been wanting to shoot a video for the longest of time, but I've been so preoccupied. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that <clears throat> so the real reason why i haven't been posting lately is because your girl was working at call center it was um a seven to seven job and i was working 12 full hours almost yeah six days a week basically and then on a saturday i mean on a sunday i would go to church so i never had time for youtube anymore i couldn't i wasn't able to edit i stopped uploading certain videos even on my ig normally i would up, up, upload a video each and every single monday but i wasn't I, unable to do that so yeah i'm so sorry but like um yeah your girl is trying to make money i guess that's all i can say so today's video as you can tell by the title I'm going to talk about my first university experience, like my first year, how everything went, was it what I expected, was it, was it what I had been told, because I think that's like the underlining factor. So when it came to my first year in university, it was not heaven, um, it was not grownish, it was not mean girls, it was not... It was not anything that you normally see on television. I think the like one thing I can say was closest to the university representation I had seen ever in my life was Istanbiso. Istanbiso depicted mostly how university looks like from people that come from a different environment to a different environment, which was my case. Coming from Joburg to Cape Town is a very, very vast and different situation. Like, it's a whole hectic, there's a lot of things that are different there's a lot of things that change and yeah man but it was all exciting so it was fun like moving out of your comfort zone and everything so i'm just going to tell you guys five things that i didn't expect to be different i actually don't even know what i'm doing but okay anyway this is a youtube channel so i do have to talk um so one thing that i faced based like basically like moving from an area where I was used to a gang lot of black people, basically, my culture, my race and everything. I was used to easily speaking in Zulu to anyone or speaking whatever language I wanted to anyone. And then when I got to Western Cape, situations were different. It was either you straightforwardly Zulu or you are strictly Tosa, you are strictly white, you are strictly colored, you are strictly Af like you know, Africano and so on. Those were things that were just, uh, you know, yeah. And I had friends at the beginning of the semester, but then I lost all of them. Then I thought it was due to racism. Then I became very antisocial. Like I stopped speaking to anyone in class. So like when my first year began, it was, it all looked fun. It was going to be exciting. I'd made friends. I thought I had made the friends obviously, but then Life had other plans, but one thing that remains true though, my burrito can testify to this. The reason I call her my burrito is a very complicated story. One day she might come to this channel, or maybe she might not, but then like me and her were sitting next to each other at orientation week. This is something that first years are not gonna have the experience. We were sitting next to each other. So it was her and another girl. So me and her, were sp we were speaking, but then she was doing nursing. So obviously like, that's how our situation started because I was doing okay, like OT so I was interested in the reasons and the things that why she's doing nursing and why I was doing OT. Then the girl next to me was also doing OT but then language became a barrier because she was speaking in Afrikaans and your girl doesn't know Afrikaans. But yeah, those were just the little things that, you know, mattered and little things that did quite a lot of you know helping so as time went by i was very lucky like the first time i got to two raise, i didn't have accommodation issues because i had settled everything even though my mom had to cough out some money herself to pay for my accommodation at first because my bezel was acting up so yeah but luckily everything ran smoothly i met someone that very day she is oh for me wherever she is she is just the, like she's an angel because I felt like she, you know like there's always a garden angel wherever you go for me that was who she was to me because if I did not meet her 
by the time I met her, I would not know Planet Shakers as a ministry. I would not even be serving at Planet Shakers at all. Well, that's also another story for another day. But like, just that in itself made a big difference. So I think I'm gonna make this a two-part video because this is gonna be a lot. So that was like the beginning of everything when everything was still open and social, when like there was no restrictions and all of that. I've never been a party person. I still, I don't I don't think I am. I just have very hectic social anxiety that just never allows me to be in a confined environment of people that are making terrible decisions. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone, but I just don't like alcohol that much. So <laughs> that's just, the first part of it all and then coming into academics obviously everything the situation has changed the setting is different like lectures like the, the whole thing of saying that lectures don't care about you is a proper lie lies that's the one lie that my high school teachers said that lectures don't care they'll just come and teach even if you're, you're there or not i'm sorry but in my faculty they cared we even signed you know register and everything they made sure that everybody was in class they made sure that everybody was doing the work that they needed to do they were answering the questions that they needed to answer i had very caring lectures so like i was still saying like I, like something disturbed me but anyway my lectures were super nice i had like generally nice lectures who kept so much about us like it was like it generally showed even like the faculty that we're in like we just needed all of that support i really i was generally happy when i was in school i really enjoyed my time there but the anxiety of being far away from home that's a secret i'm not gonna hide from anyone else i felt so much anxiety even though things around me were going so well like you would look at me and you think yeah she's doing quite well in school she wouldn't be stressing about anything and the way some people assume i'm so social i'm so sorry but me saying hi to someone is a lot of work like it's it takes a lot away from me especially with what I had experienced when I tried making friends and trying to create a friend group for myself, I decided to just withdraw. So when I think that's like the one problem I have with myself, I withdraw. Like when I see that my attention is not appreciated, I pull it away. So that's what I did. And yeah, man, that was the physical part of everything. And to make matters worse, I had a single room due to uh, personal reasons like I generally don't 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 like sharing my space and I don't want to share my space so maybe if maybe just maybe if I had a, a roommate I would have been fine but I think that mm, not all roommates are good roommates honestly but some are quite good roommates some people have commented and like really enjoyed having their roommates but I'm just like that's not my portion that's not my life like I don't see myself doing that it's, it's really not my portion at all yeah and then we we were doing things i joined debating it was very fun like yo 2020 looked promising 2020 looked like the year for me it looked like everything was gonna happen like at the beginning oh my god i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you yo 2020 was nice i was enjoying myself in other areas of my life besides making friends i was really having fun academically i was obviously trying to get used to the new environment one thing I would set as advice for new first year students, don't try and have a, no a notebook for every single module. Don't do what I did. I had like a module for every single module. I had a binder for every single module. Like, I'm gonna show you guys my updated or organization system because your last year system was MS. But I did take very nice, like aesthetically pleasing notes and all of that, which were helpful when it came to studying because they were attractive. But then at the same time, there were a lot of other things I used due to, you know, being locked down, not understanding things and not being able to just speak to your lecture when I needed assistance. So those are just like some key pointers that I think everybody should take note of. But then, yeah, that was the physical part of everything. Then online learning started. I was stuck at home. Yo, I'm telling you that it was so hectic trying to balance schoolwork chores, trying to balance everything in general, like within an African household was a bit difficult and overwhelming. I felt so much psychological strain. I felt physically, um, I, I was physically exhausted, which is how I felt when I was in this job that I currently just left. And just all of those emotions 
when they get to me i feel i withdraw like i i mentioned like i stopped doing everything that's why i stopped shooting videos i stopped editing because like my mental health was not doing well and as long as my mental health is not fine i would rather be stuck in the things of god or be stuck in god's presence than trying to be stuck in everything and trying to balance everything because i'm a perfectionist so when i can't get anything perfect i just stay away from it so <laughs> yeah that's what i do literally that's why i stay away from relationships okay that was tense but in any way guys that is just like a little tiny sneak peek into my first year university experience and this is going to be part one of it and then part two is generally me explaining the other things that happened in my first university yeah i hope you guys are excited to hear it just as i am and in the second video i would do however also give advice to the new students and i'm glowing aren't i mm. Mm. she's glowing she is pretty she's glowing so once again there is no way without going there is no way there is no way period without going through the way so see you guys in the part two of this video a video a video